Thank you everyone for watching this video. I am Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me as well. I had a request here in terms of when you are presented or a student is presented an integral of this form, a rational function, what is a good or a reliable approach for handling this form of an integral, a rational function integral. And I have an answer which demonstrated by two routes and I'm going to show you two of these routes. They're both good routes and there's nothing wrong with you picking either. If we were to choose one route and we'll call that route A, that rational function can be split across that positive sign, the plus sign in the numerator. You'll be looking at this and then you'll see everything will come into shape. If you were to combine these two, it's kind of like a partial fraction decomposition, an informal approach. If you were to add this, you would end up with that. Then you would independently integrate these and you can. For this part right here, you'd have to do a substitution. This route A, the approach A which I'm showing you first is the less easy approach because it's slightly longer and you will see that to be the case. The approach B, the next approach I'll show you would be the better way and that would be the route that I would recommend. Anyhow, when you're looking here, you can do a substitution U is equal to X minus one, DU is equal to DX. When you do that, you know you're having here an X divided by U, DU plus, we have an integral of this one over X minus one, dx. I've done this part right here and this part as you see but this is not good enough. When you're looking right over here you can do a addition to this x is equal to u plus 1. You take the 1 on the other side now you can replace this by u plus 1. This is the less reliable or the less easy approach because here you can still separate this and you are doing more work. The route b, the b approach I'll show you next is quicker and more efficient. You can separate this across a positive sign. You'd have u over u plus 1 over u du plus all of this. 1 over x minus 1 dx. You know u over u is a 1 and this right here is a 1 over u. You're doing these individually. What you end up having so far is this du coming from right over here plus integral 1 over u du plus this right here. Integral 1 over x minus 1 dx. And you know this is not hard. This is just gonna generate a u. This will generate a natural log u. And this right here will generate natural log x minus one plus c. When you resubstitute the u, which is x minus one, you have x minus one plus natural log x minus one plus natural log x minus one plus c. But these can be combined. Your answer is x minus one plus two natural log x minus one plus c. That's what I'm getting. And I can put that right over here because we can compare it to the next route or the next approach that I will show you. And this is not a wrong way, it's just a longer way. So this right here is a longer way because when you separated this rational function into this, you still have to do a U substitution. When you did the U substitution, you still have to separate it further by means of this approach. Now let's look at the approach B, which is the preferred approach. It's a specific U substitution approach where you will do polynomial substitution right away and you won't be thinking about any decomposition of this rational function into its partial fractions. At least you won't be doing that explicitly. But look what happens over here. You do a u substitution from the start. u is equal to x minus 1. The denominator is being substituted. Then therefore du is equal to dx. You can also do a x here. x is equal to u plus 1. And now you bring this into places or u plus 1 plus 1. You already have a plus 1 there. And then you have a u du. When you combine all of this, what do you have? You have a u plus 2 over u du. And now separate these across a positive sign. You have a u over u du plus 2 over u du. When you do the integration of this, this is just a 1. You're getting a u from there as an antiderivative. When you're doing this, you're getting a 2 natural log u plus c. And when you substitute the u, which is this, look what happens. You have x minus 1. I'll parenthesize that. Plus 2 natural log x minus 1 plus c, which is exactly what I had determined over there. But this right here is a better approach and we'll call this the u substitution approach. The previous approach A was perhaps a partial fraction decomposition approach where what we did was x plus 1 or x minus 1, we separated it across like this. And then you do individually this work. And that right there appears to be the longer, less efficient way. Even though you end up at the right answer, this U substitution from the start is the preferred way because you end up skipping out on a few repetitive steps. And that's it for this particular video. But you know there are many rational functions out there to the order of 1 in terms of exponent which look very much like that. 
in different combinations but you have two routes the u substitution from the start is the preferred route thank you for watching have a good day